Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so pleased you could stop by. My name's Chrissy. I'm so pleased to meet you. Today I'm going to be creating this everyday look using a palette from a High Art Revolution. It's called the Revo Poochies. It's really cute. If you'd like to know how I got the look, please stay tuned. This is the Revo Poochies palette by High Art Revolution. At the moment it's £10 on the website. Uh, also, today, which is Friday the 10th of January, um, Superdrug have got it on at £10, but if you buy one, pr one product, you get another product half price. Uh, I'm going to show you inside the palette. It's a very neutral palette. I've popped the swatches just for you to see close up. But they do look very nice. Let's hope they, uh, they perform as well. We're going to do an everyday look using this palette so anyone can wear it whether you're going to work or just going out or whatever it is as it says it's going to be a wearable makeup look. We're going to go with this base shade of this colour here pink. If it's too light I will change it. I'm applying this first shade over my entire lid just to give you a nice colour wash. It also helps to set the uh, eye primer as well. Go in with this orangey colour here called Dog Out. I'm just sort of going across my crease line a lot higher up. And just putting this right over there. It might not be the shade I want, but if it's not, it don't matter because I can cover it up. But I'm just concentrating just over the eye socket, just where your your bone sort of ends. I'm going to work some of this milk chocolatey colour here and that one is called Rollover. I'm just going to gently lay this down not too far in the inner corner because it will be too, too dark then. I think because it's a, a lighter shade it should be okay. I've got a tiny detail brush here now and I've just got in, gone into the shade and I'm packing that out in the outer corner just to give that deep rich effect. There's actually a ton of fallout with this. It is, like I say, it is very, very powdery. So if you do apply your makeup base well your base first be very very careful it might be you might be better using a damp a damp brush and you see this all this fallout i'm going to take this darker brown still which is that color there and it all oh, it's called bark is a lot darker but again it is if I can show you it's all over my, my desk actually if I can just show you I've only just dipped into that there if I just touch it it is quite powdery so it's just something to consider so that's that has darkened it up you're going to do a touch inside. I 
I've got to get these fall out off. That is a lot actually. That is a lot just from under my eyes and I'm going to do it again as you can see. I'm not going to edit it. So we've still got that so it is do beware. I mean you could actually wear some eyeshadow guards. So there's that bit of air. I'm going to take this one here, which is called Fetch. And we've also got Fur Baby, which is the brown. Because we're doing that halo eye. I'm just going to put this here. If it's not enough. That's not going to be dark enough. I'm going to put the fur baby on first. Shade to the inner and the outer parts of the halo. And um, to say the least, it isn't really going on as I expect it to. It's a lovely colour in the pan, which is just not working for me. Uh, there's a lot of fallout, as I mentioned earlier. Um, I do end up changing it, but I'm just uh, I'm just working it as much as I possibly can, just to to get it to stick down. I think it's safe to say that we're going to have fallout on, oh, it's all over the place actually. Um, I think it's safe to say that we are going to have fallout on all of the shades apart from the um, the foils This is taking a little bit of building up as well. I mean, it's they're on. It does stick to your finger, but it looks like it just stays there too. It's not transferring as much. I used a tiny little brush just to pack the outer uh, colour on here, but it went really patchy. I just don't know what was the matter with the the, uh, the colours today. I'm not happy with this at all. I'm going to carry on. Um, but look at my eyes. I know we can all have an off day. I totally understand that. And I'm not saying that it's not me. But I'm going to tidy it up as best as I can. I'm going to have to go off camera and do this because it's just... This just, this just isn't playing the game today. Okay guys, so I've sort of saved it, but I need to show you this. This is, I'm really sorry, it's a wipe, but this is all of the fallout. That's, I've been messing around with it for about 15 minutes so obviously in the grand scheme of things it's not a massive amount of time but to have that much fallout i'm really disappointed i really really am i think i've only ever said that about one other palette um 
but what can we do? I always I had to go in with this biscuit colour here at uh, either side of the uh, the halo. Uh, I also add a very very teeny amount of the black colour, which is called Poppy Love, just to darken it up slightly because the other one was too too bright. The the shimmer didn't work at all. And so then I covered this middle up because it was a little bit too pinky. I know that sounds really strange coming from me, a little bit too pinky, but it was a bit too pinky for the look. So I went in with this color here, this shimmer, well, the, the foil, and it's called Hound Dog. So that is how I, I sort of saved it. Luckily, I'm just taking the two shades from the palette under my eyes and just sweeping them across. This just really, really does finish the look off. I feel a bit uh, naked without it, to tell you the truth. Now I've got used to it. I'm adding the highlighter to my inner corners now and also my brow bone just to give that really nice shine. I've actually found these um, lip butters from Little. Oh well, I am gonna actually going to do a haul um, where I test or swatch all the supermarkets' own brands of makeup. Uh, I'm just sort of getting them all together. But this, I bought. It's only a butter. Guys, just before I say good mark boys, I just want to talk about the palettes. As you know, I am revolution through and through. I absolutely love them. I've got pretty much every palette they've come out with. Um, this one isn't the best performing one I've ever had. That's all I can say. Unless I've had a really bad day or whether I've had a palette that isn't as good as um, the rest of them. I mean, it is a lovely palette. The colour story is beautiful. The packaging is beautiful. But I've actually got to go on how it performs. I mean, I've got a look. I've got a look out of it and I can wear the look. Don't get me wrong. But it's not been as easy as the other palettes I've used. So I can't say I 100% recommend it. If you're going to buy it, you're going to buy it come what may. I've just sort of give you my interpretation of what I can do with it. Like I say, tomorrow I could use it and it could be absolutely fantastic. I think it may as well. It might have just been one of them days. It may, it may have, it may not have. But like I say, I will continue to use it. I'll have another couple of goes. And if I can make it work, I'll make it work. And I'll actually come on here and say... Chris, you was crap tonight, you know, and yes, I've created something better. I really hope I can do that. So I've never got anything bad to say about Revolution, but you want my honest opinion and I will always give it to you. So all I'm going to say is this one doesn't fare as well for me as the other ones that I've got. So saying that, I really hope you've enjoyed watching my video. I hope you've enjoyed the look I've created. If you have, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please come and subscribe to my channel. That that would be wonderful. Until we see each other again, it'll only be a couple of days. Love you loads. Bye, guys.